Hi everyone, Tom here. Um, today I thought I would show you how to, um, when you have a infected computer, it sometimes is not always possible to run certain things, like say for instance task manager. Um, you may find that you need to run task manager to end some of the malware processes and yet you can't because the malware processes are ransomware and they are stopping you from actually running the task manager and it's quite ironic isn't it so what I'm going to show you is not how to to disinfect a computer just to uh, how to stop the files themselves from running so you are still going to have to run a scan but it's just a quick tip to to just stop them from running so you can use your computer and actually just disinfect it so I've got a really badly infected virtual machine here I'm using Camtasia Studio so my computer is running the slowest shit a bit really I'm going to get the pop up that we've been getting since my first video. So, yeah. Excuse me a minute. I've got to run as little as possible. So, here it is. Um, we've got um, my security shield here, which I actually did a tutorial on. Well, Let's just say I showed you it. So, first of all, my uh, security shield, it's in a hidden um, directory. Um, and that's going to be something else I'm going to have to show you. So, what you want to do is, is you want to go to folder options. Because um, many rogues, and it's sort of stupid. They install themselves into what we call hidden directories that are hidden by default. So what you want to do is, now that you can change the extension, just change it to a text file. I think that's the best that you can do. Um, balls. Yeah, so you get all this. You get a purchase page here. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, I'm going to go to my computer because this road actually goes to a more legitimate location where um, programs should be going, and that's in the program files. So, as you can see, these are all clearly rogues. Um, well, not rogues, that's a rogue. And these are killing the task manager. So. Again, just whatever it is, go ahead, find the target file, you know, rename it to a .txt file, um, a dot .old file will even work as well. Even if you just type in shit, um, it should just, well actually, yeah, if you even, even if you type in crap, that will work as well. See, and sometimes the way they do it, I wonder sometimes if it's just waiting for you to, if you're just about to click, and they just simply put that in front of you to the moment. <coughs> I'll show you how to change the um, folder options in Windows 7 as well. Because I just thought you might not actually be using Windows XP. So right now I've done, I've changed all the files. They're not going to run again. We have to reboot. Um, now what you want to do is just go to start, turn off computer, restart. But because it's a virtual machine and I, I want to preserve my time a little bit, um, I'm just going to reset it. I don't actually show you right now the folder options. I want to get done with this VM first because um, 
I actually tried to do this video like 10 minutes ago and my computer just crashed. Um, it's just on um, Camtasia Studio but I'll just have to use it because, because the thing is, is that with Cam Studio it just um, looks a bit too crappy. Um, the videos that I've made with Cam Studio, just watch them in HD, it's the best thing. Good old HD. So we're back into the, uh, to the PC. Um, there should be no alerts down here, which I know that there shouldn't be. And we also want to right click and see if our task manager is available. We're going to see. I don't think any fake system alerts are going to actually pop up. Oh no, are you kidding me? Um, um, I hope I don't look like a total arse here. <laughs> Oh dear. I'm just going to pause the video. I'll be right back. Hey everyone, I am back. Um, for some weird, weird reason, I cannot, <laughs> I cannot run the task manager. Um, I'm just going to try something. Ah, there we are. Okay, so there we go. Um, as you can see, there are no more malware processes. So now all you would do is just get your typical virus remover. Malware bytes is a good one. Um, your antivirus. Hopefully, if you've got an antivirus on your computer, you probably don't have viruses. But um, I know there's some people out there who don't. I think, to be honest, that that's. That is all I was going to say for this <laughs> tutorial. I will quickly show you how to do the folder options though. Um, another thing, I want to really stress the point, this is, it hasn't disinfected your computer, please still scan it with your virus software. So, so that's a way to stop it from running anyway, so thank you for watching that. <coughs> I'm going to do videos with virtual machines, this is my favourite bit where I turn off the machine <laughs> because I'm not having so much of a bloody lag. So what you want to do in Windows 7 is just go to my computer. You want to go to organise, this is just for everyone who doesn't know how to do it. Folder and search options, go to view. You want to show hidden files, folders and drives. You want to untick hide extensions and untick hide protected operating system files. So just in case you have initiative in you to browse around a little bit and find it in case you can't use a shortcut. I just want to make an announcement that I've made a Twitter account. Um, my account is named Tom underscore eight six six eight six six actually means Tom in numbers. Uh, you know when you text on a mobile phone. As you can see, I've protected my tweets. I will, I will um, undo that. But I, I don't know. I don't even know if I will put that much up on there. You know, I might just say, hey, I'm thinking about doing this tutorial, hey, I might do that. I don't know. I might not really go into it. So just in case if you're thinking that you're going to get like loads and loads of posts, I just want don't want to let you down, that's all. Another thing I would like to say, I know I, <laughs> I, know I do do a lot of videos on how to remove malware, viruses and stuff. I'm not like all about that. There will be a bit more variety when I can think of it. So thanks for watching. 
um, thanks for your support. Please do subscribe if you like my videos. You can then receive updates, obviously. Thanks for watching, everyone. You've been great in supporting me. Thank you. Goodbye.